Yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy Bertone and I'm back with another video. Now in today's video, I'm about to show you a tutorial, um, basically the best settings for Zelda Link's Awakening on the PC with the Yuzu emulator. Now I'm going to show you guys a couple um, tricks um, to boost up your performance and I'm going to show you guys a couple tricks to take off a take off the motion blur completely now as i'm recording this video i believe it's october 13th uh if you guys watching this six days later or two weeks later um zelda links awakening should be in the public yuzu build as i'm recording this video is not in the public build it's only in the patreon build so if you guys want to play early i suggest you guys um either donating five dollars to the yuzu patreon team um and you can get uh, the early build, the October build early for you guys can play Link's Awakening right now as I speak. Now, there's a couple of things I'm gonna show you guys how to get locked 60 FPS and also play in 4K. And I'm gonna show you guys how to take out the motion, the motion blur for you guys to get the best experience possible playing Link's Awakening on the PC. Now, all you guys have to do is go to your emulation tab you go to configure now when you go to configure you're gonna go to the graphics tab now if you want 60 fps i advise you taking off 30 fps and also taking out this um the accurate gpu emulation is i tried it out and it doesn't work with my build so if you really want to have the best experience possible you can either try to use this shader cache or the Synchro, the Synchrodome GPU emulation. I heard that, I heard and tested out that it has improved on the latest um, Yuzu Patreon build. And I, when I tried it out, I see some improvement, but not enough for me to convince me to use it when I'm playing my games on the emulator. So you can guys either can leave this empty or turn this on or turn this on. Or you can turn either one um, off because I heard when you use this shader cache, it sometimes crash your emulator. And I can confirm that this is true because when I use this shader, use this shader cache with certain games, it crashed with something. So I like to turn it off. Sometimes I like to mess with this, but overall, I like to keep this everything off. Usually, give me the best experience. Now, if you want to play the game in 4K, um, they should have um something called i believe it's called profile scanner but for some reason the patreon build does not have it but i know for sure the public bill does have it so like i said if you're watching this a week or two weeks later it's zelda links awakening should be playable on the public build of the yuzu emulator so basically how you basically play um any game in 4k on the yuzu emulator you just locate a profile scanner and then when you locate profile scanner you just save it, press OK, and then while you're playing it, let's say, I'll say play um, any game you want for a good hour, and then after you play the game for a good hour, go back to your graphics tab, and then pick the native resolution you want. I would say pick four times X, and then after you pick four times X, you press OK, and you should see an improvement to your graphics when you're playing a certain game on the Yuzu emulator. That's how basically 4K works on the Yuzu emulator. It's very simple and easy, and that's about it. So now I'm go back to native, native because I don't have the profile scanner, so I can't show you guys properly how it works. But if you follow those steps, it will work. Trust me, it will work. All right, so after that, you press OK. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to take off the motion blur. Now I'm pretty sure um like i said probably a week or two now the motion blur will still be there so basically how you guys take that off is basically do a mod i'll leave in the description down below to this mod it's basically just take out motion blur for either um the nintendo switch version and the yuzu version i don't know why it has it for the nintendo switch version but that's another story <laughs> But anyways, all you guys have to do is go to manual download. Now it will be a zip file. So I advise you guys to have something that 
open compressed zip files like WinWAR or 7-zip or anything that can open compressed files. And you basically press download and you should be good to go. Now, when you press download, it's going to take a couple seconds to load up, obviously. And then when it's done loading up, you're going to click on the RAR file and it should open up something like this. Now, when you get this, just minimize it. And then you're going to minimize this and then you'll go to your, you're going to right click your game, go to open mod data location. And then you're going to basically make a new folder. You're just going to left click, go to new, go to folder and basically call it DO, DOF removal or no motion blur mod or something like that. And after you make your new folder, you're going to click on it. And then when you click on it, obviously it's going to be empty. Go back to the mod you just downloaded. You're going to click on it. And when you see ROM FP, the ROM FS, basically going to drag it. Like you see what I did right now. You're basically going to drag it. That's basically all you have to do. It's very simple and easy. Not too complex, not too complicated. And after you do that, you just basically close it. And then make to make sure it's on, you basically right click it, go to properties. If if you see the box um shaded and gray, that means it's on. If you, if it's not shaded and gray, that means it's off. So you guys have to turn it on just to click on the box and then it'll be on. And you basically press OK. And after that, basically boot up your game. And you should be all good to go. So your game basically running at 60 FPS. You probably have the profile scanner on, so you have to play this game for a while, probably an hour or so to get the 4K um, res resolution. And also, you got the motion blur um, mod um, on, so you should see no motion blur at all. So the game should look so crisp. So that's that's basically how it basically is. So let's try it out test it out real quick start it out let's see let's see if it's getting to work mm, yeah no motion blur at all. No motion blur at all. So that's basically it. That's basically the best settings that you can do on a usable emulator to get the best experience possible playing on Link's Awakening. So yeah, that's all you guys need to know. If there's any updates to this or something new I discover, I'll make sure I make a new video updating you guys about it. So. That's, got, that's all you guys basically need to do to get the best experience possible to to playing Link's Awakening on PC with the Yuzu Amers. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys find this video helpful at all, um, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you guys are new because I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Breakton, and I'm out. Peace.